video, we'll go over unranked games and the different modes and match settings that you can do. You can set up game mode matches which require a paid license in order to use those and you can contact our sales team to get started with that. You can also set up custom matches, target matches, and review your target scores. <clears throat> We're going to start by setting up a game mode match. Here are a bunch of predetermined preset matches with a couple of rules that are not able to be changed and these are just standardized versions and we will release new ones from time to time. You can also choose the duration, how long the game is going to be, the countdown, how long it takes to start, and if friendly fire is available, you can choose that, yes or no. So we'll choose uh, supply grab. It automatically configures everything on the right, including health, ammo, time, all that stuff, and lives, if applicable. And then you just take your devices, which are synced. I happen to have two Barracudas synced, and then you can assign them by clicking on them one by one to the team. If all is okay, you'll see nothing up here, but if you don't have somebody or something set right, you'll see up here that it requires additional players or it'll give you another thing that you need to complete before you can start. It's very easy to pinpoint what's going wrong. Once I have my equipment synced to the teams and I can change the names of them if I want, I can just go ahead and hit create match. After a moment it'll bring me to this new match screen and in the middle you'll see the overview and the timeline and then you'll see the teams on both sides. I left both teams as blue even though they're black and camo but you can change that color if you want. When you're ready to go, you just have to hit start. Go. You can hear that the equipment counted down, and now I can play like I'm doing a normal thing. I hit one unit, you can see that it's been hit. Shoot it again, and it's been eliminated. They should come back into the game automatically or if they're going to be hitting a respawn box, depending on the rules you have set. In Supply Grab, they're usually going to be hitting a respawn box to come back into the game. I can also click on them and revive them so they're back in the game. You can click on any player and do a bunch of different things to them. You can hit them, heal them, revive them, or eliminate them from the game. The Shock setting is if they are wearing a Stress Deck Shock Belt. And you can also ping them to see if their equipment is synced, and you'll hear a light up and a beep. You can also see at the bottom here their total kills, the time remaining, and uh, a different icon depending on the game. If I want to stop the game early, all I have to do is hit the stop button. The menu will slide open on the left again and I can go create that same match again or I can create a new one. Next we're going to create a custom match which gives you a little bit more flexibility in how to set up your game and you have a lot more options that you can customize. I can choose the time of the game, the countdown, I can select a different mission which usually determines how the game is going to end, last team standing, last man standing, Tickets is basically when one team loses their total amount of tickets allowed, they will lose to whoever dies to the certain amount first. Time limit, and then a couple other options here which you can explore. We'll choose time limit for now, which means the game will end automatically after 60 seconds. I can choose friendly fire if I want as well. So I'm going to go ahead and assign my players to the different teams just by clicking on that. Here I can click on them and change their name, change their stats. I can also click on the team name and change that and change the color on the right hand side. So I just made that one green. If you want to delete a team, you can hit the trash can or and add teams. Over here, there's turn on weapon check or turn off weapon check. That'll allow you to turn on weapons and test them before the game starts. Otherwise, the players will not be able to use the equipment until the game is actually running. It makes it easier for the operator. So I have my two devices here. I can change the health and ammo. If it's at zero or negative one, that means that it's an unlimited. And if max respawns is how many respawns they'll get before they're done for the game and then auto respawn is how long it takes before they come back into the game once they have respawned. Here's mode so if you have a headband and set at zombie or medic mode you can have that for different roles. We'll just choose normal. You can see the status of the equipment which determines if it's ready, if it's offline or not working. And then you can also use this right here to copy all of those stats to everybody else on the same team. Makes it easier so you don't have to go by and do it one by one. Once we have everything set I'm just gonna hit create match and it'll bring us back to the match screen, which looks very similar to all the other match screens. And then you can go ahead and click play to start. Go! Your players can then be playing the game. Shot at one of the units, you can see that the health is gone. I'll shoot at them again and they've been eliminated. Here in the timeline, you'll see which player eliminated the other player. And it gives you a detailed overview as fast as things happen on the field. After the time, the game will automatically end, and you can also see the total kills for each team very easily. I can click on a player and revive them, heal them, hit them, whatever I want to do. In this case, the player is dead, so I'm just going to revive them, and they'll come back into the game. 
shocking you to the shock belt if they have that on and you can give them a little zap and ping as I said will help you identify units out on the field by giving them a little beep and they will light up. Down here the magnifier I can click this to make things bigger or smaller depending on my screen and how many players I have going and you can also hide that by clicking on the arrow you can see this total overview timeline more detailed view and in five seconds you'll see the game ending The game is now over, I can announce the winner, and then I can just go right back up into here to create the same match again by hitting create match or set up a new game to play.